So, I came across a shocking case from the WRC there in the last few days. I've written a blog post about it, but it is worth discussing here and work, worth making a video about the issue. And the issue is discrimination in the amount of pay that a person, an employee, was paid. Basically, the unusual feature of this particular case, however, is the fact that the employer was Chagosk. And Chagosk is the state agriculture consultancy advisory and research body. And you would think that the state bodies and emanations of state and so on would be very anxious to ensure that they are adhering to the employment laws of the state and that they are definitely whiter than white when it comes to allegations of discrimination. In this particular case, it had to do with a lady called Miss Reed. She's a female statistician. She brought a claim basically to the WRC. The basis of her claim was that a male colleague who was doing the same work was being paid 20,000 euros per annum more than her. Some of the unusual features of this case, however, are the fact that Miss Reed first raised the issue with Chagosk in 2004, again in 2007, in 2008, in 2009, and thereafter, right up to submitting this claim to the WRC. She has been employed with Chagosk as a statistician since 1977, and uh, her issue has been ongoing for 21 years or thereabouts. She did email the employer in 2019 to point this out, and um, she claimed that Chagosk simply did not want to deal with the issue. The adjudicator in the case then, Mr Jim Dolan, he noted that the job description of Miss Reed and her comparator, Mr Grant or Dr Grant, because Dr Grant uh, obtained a PhD later on, the adjudicator noted that the job descriptions were identical. They were doing the same work or like work and she was paid 20,000 per annum less than the male comparator. The adjudicator, Mr Dolan, found the treatment of Miss Reed to be absolutely shocking. Chagosk's position and defence was that the difference relates to Dr Grant's grade, skills, experience and qualifications and not gender, and that the comparator had more responsibility and had completed a PhD some 18 years previously. However, the adjudicator with the WRC did not agree with this defence and he accepted that Miss Reed had cleared the two hurdles she needed to clear in order to make a discrimination claim about pay. One, she, was, she proved that she was engaged in like work with a comparator and two, she proved that she was paid less than the comparator. The WRC awarded Miss Reed 40,000 in compensation for the discrimination, but it also determined that she be paid arrears since 2017 and that she be put on the appropriate pay scale. The arrears, according to figures submitted by Ms. Reid, could amount to €100,000. So this case could involve in a payout by Chagosk state body, an emanation of state, of in the region of €140,000 for discrimination against this employee who has been successful in her claim, her argument, her complaint that she was discriminated against on the grounds of gender and that she was essentially paid less for doing the same work or like work as a male comparator. Uh, that's a fairly hefty sum of money. Obviously, it's a state body, so ultimately it's not a question of saying well, they can well afford it because it's you and me, it's the taxpayer who's actually stumping up for this. It'll be interesting to see whether the Chagosk appeal this decision to the Labour Court. I've no idea one way or the other and I've no view one way or the other. But Miss Reid obviously felt aggrieved and felt aggrieved for a long, long time, made plenty of efforts repeatedly over many, many years.
and uh, failed. But that is discrimination claim, successful discrimination pay or pay related claim, discrimination on the grounds of gender and the good news for the employee in question and the good news for anybody who can win a claim for discrimination is that the act of discrimination is what is being compensated for. Therefore, I believe there's a strong possibility that a good bit of the money that she'll receive, if it's a discrimination award, will be tax-free. Now, there is an element of perhaps back pay, etc., especially if the order is, well, it depends what way the order is drafted, I suppose. Strictly speaking, if she was getting back pay back to 2017, which is part of the decision, then that perhaps would be taxable. In the, but in the ordinary course, a claim under the Discrimination, the Employment Equality Act 1998, the discrimination is compensation and would not be taxable. So that remains to be seen. But I'm sure that that lady is very happy anyway, and she's obviously fully vindicated in bringing her claim. So it's a lesson for employers, uh, certainly, because uh, you simply cannot treat people differently on a discriminatory ground and pay them less on a discriminatory ground. The discriminatory ground could be gender, could be family status, it could be nationality, it could be any number of the nine grounds of discrimination. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, I'd appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below and you may be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching a lot.